Hey everybody, uh, Scott Quaster. I hope that you're having a great and amazing day. I get the honor to go ahead and see her with Susan Ray. Um, I got to know her a little bit before this, and uh, she's an amazing and terrific lady. And um, she's just an awesome lady all around. So, how are you doing today, Susan? I'm doing fabulous, Scott. Thank you. Awesome. I'm excited to do this interview. <laughs> awesome. So my first question to um, the viewers is, who is Susan Ray? Well, um, I retired two years ago, and then I was in direct marketing or direct sales, and I just got tired of going to the mall for people. So I thought I would, you know, look online to see how to market. And that's when I saw an ad that says, you know, do you want to travel and have an income too? That's exactly what I was setting up to do. So I clicked on that and it ended me up into MLSP. Well, all I did was buy stuff and learn stuff. And so it kind of got me nowhere, but I've got, I had a good email list, but it didn't really get me anywhere. So then I went on my own to kind of take a look at everything else. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, you can meet the, like, the best people in, in this industry, and, and it's, really, it's, it's really awesome. Um, as far as, um, you know, like everybody talks about their why, you know, your why has to kind of make you cry. What is, uh, what is your why? Well, my why is to have an, an actual 10 people making $10,000 each per month, and I want to show each one of them how to do that one by one? Awesome, awesome. That's a, that, that's a great, uh, you know, that's going to be really great when I see that happening. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's at least there's ten people, and then I want to kind of add zeros to that. The next goal will be a hundred. <laughs> the next goal will be a thousand. Awesome. Yep. It's going to be great. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people that kind of inspire us as well. You know, I have people that inspire me. Who are some people that kind of inspire you? Robert Hollis. Of a, you know, he has helped me more in two months than everybody did in two years. Um, you know, it's just maybe the way he says things. It, it's just so simple. And he just puts it out like, that's your job. Yeah. My favorite is when he's like, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's my favorite line. Shout out to Robert. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, as far as like happiness, um, what would you say is your definition of happiness? And can you describe a time when you felt the most happiest? Yeah. Um, happiness is helping somebody else better themselves. And, you know, a time that I was, um, you know, helping somebody do that was actually my husband. Um, you know, just, of course, now, you know, we are God-fearing, you know. And so it was the Bible. And it was, you know, uh, Jesus Christ. And, you know, what it meant to me, it kind of turned some light bulbs on for him. Nice. Can you describe a time when you were the, the, like the most happiest? Oh, the most happiest. Um, there's a couple of times, you know, but um, I've got to say that it's always when I'm helping somebody else. It just it feeds me. Yeah, it gives it gives uh it just makes you feel good inside when when you're helping um, people. Yeah. Like like the best feeling, I think. Yeah, it does. I'm one of those that um, I gathered a lot of stuff, and then I gave all of it away. I mean, just, you know, and any time that I get something, I use it for a little bit, or use it because of what I bought it for, and then when I'm finished, I give it away. Nice, nice. You got a good heart. I can tell you that. Definitely see that. Well, yeah, I can actually see who. Now I let God tell me who who you know needs whatever I've got, 
and sometimes it's a very big surprise, you know, but I, when it is, you can just see them using it and really enjoying it and it enriching their lives. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And um, I know oh, there's a lot of you know people that 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 are out there and for self development wise. Um, who would you say um, do do you listen to self development? And if you do, like who are some people that 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 um, you listen to? Yes, I do. Uh, Michael Burnoff is who I'm with right now since August, um, and I've gotten a year. I I. Pay for a year with him, and he is—he is pretty awesome. I got to admit, he's—he's he's very good. Awesome, yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot of good people out there. Yes. Awesome. And um, as far as this year um goes, um, what would you say would be three top achievements that that you've achieved already this year? Okay, say that again. I didn't hear you. Um, so I just wanted to see what are your top three achievements of this year. Um, finding Robert Hollis, it's, because I last year at GoPro I heard of him mm -hmm. and I didn't hear his name and I, I was trying to find him and then when the interview came up I was like that's the guy. <laughs> so finding him was you know a, a big accomplishment. And then um, I guess you know, really admitting I needed personal development. Um, I needed help with some of the issues that I had. Um, so Michael Burnoff, and then um, just doing exactly what I thought was right at the time, even though everybody says no, it's not. It is right. It is. My yeah. biggest thing is uh, to prove those people out there. That's like my why. Like you gotta um, show people that you can um, can do this industry and be successful. You know, that's that's the biggest thing to me. So yeah. And um, like what I um, want to know too is um, there's uh, things that I think that should be taught in like especially high school growing up. And I just think like government is kind of messed up. What do you think that should be taught something that should be taught in um, like growing up in school. Oh gosh, <laughs> mindset. That's definitely um, how to get rid of limiting beliefs. You that's know, a, it's a pretty big one. Yeah, that's a big one because you know we can have those tapes running all our lives and it's still there. Until you get rid of it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You don't want to get me started. <laughs> <laughs> and it's um as far as the limited profits, you know, I know what drew me in. What is something that, that you think that drew you into unlimited profits? Documentation. <laughs> that was a big one. Because, you know, I had Kind of gotten with some people that, yeah, they're they're they are very successful, but nobody following them are successful, and that was something that you know, I kind of wanted documentation where I can you know have people, I have helped people, and they credit me for helping them. Yeah, it's pretty big. Documentation, yeah. this conversation, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, um, that that was the big thing, and then also Robert himself being documented and and everything. I just wanted to be in that kind of a way where you don't have to just hope I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people out there that they claim that they're making money when they're not even they're making things, you know? Yeah, and I like the fact that, you know, the in, the um, I guess the attention is not on you, it's on your mentor. Exactly, yeah. And that made me so much more comfortable talking to people. 
Yeah, because you can just point him straight to Robert and he'll help you out. Exactly, exactly. And he does know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, he definitely, definitely does. And, and as far as unlimited profits, when you like get a lead, what is your approach um, to like new ones and even ones that maybe randomly just got an email? What, what is your approach to them? Um, I just try to stay in contact. If they will contact me back, um, I do have some of them that don't. You know, um, I don't know what that's about, but you know, I can just help you if you want help. Exactly. Just kind of try to get a hold of them, and a lot of times their emails <laughs> you can't get a hold of them. So. Yeah. Well, the first thing I do is I put their name and their email both in Facebook search. And all. So, you know, I sometimes, and then I'll reach out in Facebook and they still don't reach out. So, I can help people that, you know, want help. Exactly. It's just the sorting game, right? Yeah. So you got to keep going through the numbers and eventually some, some people will, you know, decide to go through it. Yeah, well, I have to say that I used to be that way myself. I, I used to be a very independent you know, and I understand, so, you know, it's just, well, hopefully one day you'll ask for help. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, this has been an amazing, terrific interview. I, I really appreciate you spending some time out of your, your, your busy day to go ahead and do this interview with me. And I just had one um, final thing I wanted to ask you. If money was no option, where would you like to go ahead and travel to? Where would I? Um, back to Europe. I was born in London and grew up in Germany. I want to see that stuff again. You know, every summer we used to take the whole summer for vacation and we'd go to Italy and all that, you know, and I want to go back to see those things as a, you know, because I was 12 years old when we came to America. And I want to see those again, you know. So that wasn't really long ago. That was like five years ago? Because you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, and I do. I want to stand in front of the Mona Lisa again. That was, that was a turning point in my life because her eyes will follow you when you walk back and forth. Uh -huh. I always follow you, and that I want to stand in front of Mona Lisa again. I'll be there right with you, okay? Okay, because it <laughs> is awesome. All you, of us and the UP family will be all standing in front with our thumbs up, like Robert always does. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So this was about great, like I said, a great and amazing interview. Um, I hope that everybody has a great day. And any uh, final thoughts, Susan? No, just go and make it a great day. It's up to you. Exactly, it's up to us. All right, God bless. Okay, thank you.